Hi, welcome to the class of the dwellers. And we call you the dwellers because of Psalms 91, the first Psalms that we started our exercise with. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So we believe right now that you are focused and you are continually dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Now this is exercise number five. I just want to encourage you just to keep on in there. I feel God doing great things. And of course this week our scripture is coming from Psalms 35, 27. And I just want to read it just to refresh, refresh your memory and to encourage you a bit. And it reads, um, Let those who favor my righteous cause and have pleasure in my uprightness shout for joy and be glad and say continually, let the Lord be magnified who takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants, praise God. And so, of course, on this scripture, what we want to do this week is um, we want to uh, just meditate, continually meditate on that. And we want you to just get focused in the presence of the Lord. And when you focus in the presence of the Lord, just take a moment to focus in on his goodness and just give a shout of praise. like. Hallelujah. You're closing your eyes for a moment. You're focusing in on God. And hallelujah. Bless your name. Praise you, Father. Be glorified. Be magnified. Yes. Be exalted. And what you're doing is you're seeing uh, in the realm of the Spirit, you're just seeing the goodness of God. You're letting come before your mind all the wonderful marvelous things God has done for you you're letting come before your mind those things that you see God doing in your future and it's connecting with your spirit and suddenly you'll find yourself in a flow of thank you Jesus and praise the Lord and uh, glory to God so we want you to make sure to make that connection focus in on the presence of the Lord is in his presence that we are changed so we want to be sure to do that. And also remember the part that says, um, and uh, let uh, those who favor his righteous cause continually say, let the Lord be magnified that takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. So you're saying, in other words, you're making a declaration uh, and make it personal and say, let the Lord be magnified in my life who takes who takes delight in the prosperity of his servants and so you want to say that throughout the course of the day and you want to pause for the calls now you want to work the clock you want to be real specific and you want to be real focused with this you know and do it on purpose you may be on the computer working on something else and all of a sudden the spirit of the living God will bring it to you that we why not stop and take a praise break? Or why not stop and do some declaration? You want to do that. You want to make it a way of a life. And remember Psalms, uh, Romans uh, 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable will of the Lord. We want our minds to be renewed. We want to think like our daddy thinks. In other words, we don't want it to be a struggle that God want to bless us. We don't want it to be a struggle that this is our season and God is doing something great. We want our minds to be in agreement with the Word of God. We want there to be unity in this house. All right? All right. So, God bless you and uh, be encouraged and just continue to pump those weights. Praise God. Pump those weights. Amen. God bless you.